Hello. And welcome to Dino Daddies. Well, today, we follow something huge. This incredible titan is somehow just a juvenile. Or it is roughly only about 11 meters long for, for it. Is it about halfway through its lifetime? So he's a visitor from here. He's a visitor from from the other side of the island. He has come here for it is her time with this for it is her time of the season. Which basically means she has come here for lush vegetation but for here at this time of the year. With all her weight, she's trying to pull this down so that she can get it below leaves above it. However, <laughs> it does not appear to be working. Oh, maybe it is. No, it was working. Off a blank, blankly splitting. She continue to push down her weight on it. She's <laughs> got eggs left food. And the hum continues to feed on the leaves. Her height. Although one predator has gathered here and for, for this exact political migration. <coughs> so right as far as I'm yet again a ball mail. It is almost the mating season. That's the right of us. Although, I was hoping that there would be other of them that was just this particle here. I know that it is no match. It may have evolved larger, but its teeth become smaller and smaller, and the jaw muscles less powerful and less powerful. Another dinosaur has showed up here, except this one was here before too. as a teenage triceratops. It has come here for the lush leaves. 
I mean via more grass of course here <laughs> do it. Well, I've got the size of this. Well, not the size and smell of this Titan. The Ceratosaurus is tempted back to the area. Although, James has also been tempted here by the small spray. Although he knows that he knows that he is no match for the animal currently here. So he waits for another for for another for another, for another herbivore to show up. He does not know what species, just that's for Omo hopefully will. Although another huge titan has been flying here. But even on Blacky, so it has come here to feed as well. Although it's it like it's hot, so I could just bring it straight down on this. Well then, what it decides to do is with its legs pulling it, it tries to rock away, pulling it. I can't break it, but it gives up, and thus goes to feed. There's a one predator here that is also super sad, but Supersized by over 10 meters. It's been gone here by the exact small subbrachisma. The meat for the one. And it is now supersized. It is now greatly. It, it has supersized greatly. Now roughly 13 or 14 meters long, and is now even a threat to the full-grown female Tyrannosaurus rexes. And it has been launched by the exact small of even a Brachiosaurus. <laughs> Site of the Demet at the site of the Dimetrodon or Demetrodon or Demetrodon. <coughs> it quickly turns around and runs off. We try to set up small for distinct small Demetrodon. And then it turns and runs. <coughs> And straight past for Demetrion. <laughs> Not sad, I don't miss it. And it turns its attention back to the back here, so. For the particle. And the wee was also smelting. And that's the way. Oh. Well, this is as fast as it can go. Oh. The Blacky Asura, unfortunately, does not smell it. Mm. Very bad for it. 
Dimitri Dan has got the rocky sauce and is trying to pull it to the floor. And is pulling back with violent smite. And as he says, fine, but what Dimitri Dan will somehow being stronger. And he pulls away and it is a rocky sauce. Pretty much leaning uh, on the on the branch thing, we have fallen over. Since the floor pot is on its side, it is very hard for it to get up. Good, good thing for the meat to learn. It clamps it to the ground. Then it knows what it must do to kill it. The Miku Dunk grabs it and roll it. And the Violet strokes <coughs> crushes the teeth, pierce through the head, and pretty much slice through the brain. Slice through the brain. <coughs> Not even a Tyrannosaurus Rex would challenge the meat for them for food. Or it would bite it and then wait for it to finish and then eat it so left of them. The meat for them. It's 